they get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't do doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. You're bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird-watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll, I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here. And I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, so you've made your point. I guess I'll just go alone, into the night. Hope no one stabs me in the back. Fine. I guess if I come along, they're going to stab me instead. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Um, yeah, Millie and the Paper City cantaloupe enthusiasts. They all need a place to eat their cantaloupes and such. Well, they are delicious. Rich in vitamin C and A, you know. But a club for eating cantaloupes? Wait, are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel. The one that leads to Flint's room. And she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. 
I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Nilly is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. My brother? No. Well, yeah, but something else, too. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. It makes this place look like a proper office. I love the yarn work especially. The light is off. I bet someone wasn't paying his electric bills. Well, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Where's the light coming from, though? It's full of Ted's past cases. Nope. It's full of Ted's... It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. What? Those must be Ted's. I got this for Flint, with my own money. It's some Guardian superhero dude. Very bleak and depressing story art. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. What? Those must be Ted's. Miss, don't go wandering around alone. Miss, don't go wandering... This is my bed. There are many beds like this, but this one is mine. Subscribe now. Do it. Yes, you. You right there.